dear grandchildren. Hello, it's me, your grandpa Nate, coming at you from the past in a video letter. This is actually the third video letter that I have made for you. Uh, I did the first one 10 years ago when I was 27. Then I did the second one five years ago when I was 32. I am now 37 years old sending you another letter. You still don't exist. I do not have any grandchildren who are alive in the present year, which is 2022. So if you're watching this, and I, I hope you are, I hope you exist one day. If I do exist with you in, in the future where you're watching this, I better look a lot older if I'm sitting next to you. But if you've only just seen me in these video letters and you're watching them all in a row, if you're binging your grandpa's video letters, then I probably look a little bit older. I probably look a little puffier. I put on some weight. My hair is thinning a little bit. But anyway, it's nice to see you again. Thanks for watching this. Uh, <laughs> kind of a crazy thing that happened since last time I sent you a letter. There was a global pandemic. Weird, right? I mean, I'm, I'm talking about it kind of flippantly, being a little silly, but it was very sad. Millions of people got sick with this thing called COVID-19, the coronavirus. We're now two years into this pandemic and we're all just trying to go back to normal life, I guess. Right now, people are arguing about whether or not you still have to wear a mask on airplanes. Not everybody's vaccinated, even though you can get vaccines. Uh, another big thing is that we still haven't figured out climate change. I mean, honestly, that's the biggest thing. CO2 levels are rising. The sea levels are gonna rise by a foot by 2050. We're just not figuring it out. Oh no, I'm out of shape. I'm walking up a hill and I'm breathing hard. Grandchildren, forgive me. I mean, mainly forgive me that I didn't do more to help about climate change, but also forgive me that I'm a little bit out of breath right now. Whew. I guess the third big update is right now there's this war going on. Russia invaded Ukraine. They made up some lies about it. And I think the bigger interesting thing about that uh, is that it speaks to kind of this like post-truth world that it feels like we're living in. It's just really hard to even have a conversation with people who are living in a different reality than you are. I mean, it's social media bubbles, but even more than that, it's reality bubbles. Let's get to some of the micro updates. Some things about me, Nate Dern. I know you're dying to know what's going on with your grandpa's personal life. <laughs> in the last five years, I spent three of those years writing for The Tonight Show. Uh, that was a dream come true. Got to write some jokes for television with some great people. I really enjoyed that. That just ended about a month ago. So I'm in this kind of new and exciting time where I don't know what I'm gonna do next, really. Uh, one thing that I think I wanna do is write some more of my own personal stuff. And one of the things that I'm writing is a big, longer version of these video letters to you, my grandchildren. Um, I've written about 40,000 words so far. And maybe that'll be a book someday that you can read at the library, buy from a store. Or maybe not. Maybe I'll just print it out, put it in a weatherproof box, drive to my hometown of Evergreen, Colorado, go to, go to Elk Meadow, go to the big tree in the middle of Elk Meadow. I'll walk 50 paces due west, dig a hole in the ground, and then bury it in the ground so that one day you can read what I wrote to you, my grandchildren. Uh, just in case it's never published. Whoa, look. I'm gonna climb up these stairs. I'm out of shape. Remember that pandemic I told you about? I had all these like races scheduled that I was gonna do, like this 50 miler around Mount Hood in Oregon. And then everything got canceled. So I decided to stop training and I just uh, put on a lot of weight. I ate a donut earlier today. That didn't help. That didn't give me the fuel I needed to climb up these stairs. We're not done yet. I'm up the stairs. Another personal update is that the last video letter, I told you that I was engaged and about to get married. Well, I got married. We did it. Rand and I are married. We're having a great time. I'm all sick. Have a bit of a cough. It's not COVID. Although we did get COVID like four months ago. There's all these new variants. Got the Omicron, it sucked. Okay, grandchildren, the last personal update that you should know about. We had a baby. So the odds of you one day existing 
are so much higher now. It's still not a guaranteed thing. And watching my past videos, I think one thing that I kind of took for granted was that when we were ready, it would be relatively easy to have a kid. We had some unexplained infertility for a couple years uh, and it was really hard. We eventually went to a fertility clinic and got some help and did IVF. We took a couple tries, didn't work right away. But then it worked. And now we have a beautiful six month old baby girl named Clover who one day could become a parent herself, which is crazy to think about already. And if she is, that means that you exist, grandchildren. So that's pretty neat. Hey, you wanna see her? Okay, I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to tell you, grandchildren. Existence. It's not guaranteed and it's pretty special. Okay, time to put this girl down for a nap. Love you. Bye.